Bitcoin having a little bounce on the daily chart, just a little bounce, nothing crazy. Crypto just trying to make that shift. ADA on the daily chart as well. You see the last few days on ADA chart on the daily. Trying to turn around here. In this video, I wanna break down as simply and quickly as possible what I think are the most important parts of the Bitcoin and Cardano charts right now in the short term and also get a macro glimpse of what is going on right now in the markets. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, let's jump into the video. I wanna start here by just putting out there my general sentiment very quickly. I can't believe people think the crypto bull market's over. It's hardly even begun. Stop following the herd of emotions in every dip. Zoom out, study cycles, prepare. This might be a, a post to myself to zoom out. Remember the cycles and just prepare. So we're gonna look at the daily chart on Bitcoin, the price movement, what to anticipate, but I want to just look at something on the weekly chart. If you look at this right now on the weekly, here's what we have going on. Bitcoin falling out of the RSI. And this, I think, will give a really good illustration of my thoughts on these markets and these cycles. This fall out of overbought, depending how you lo look at it, could be good or bad, right? This could be just consolidation, cooling down, finally just not, not just overheated anymore for a minute and ready for the next leg up. Or you could look at it like, man, when Bitcoin was starting to fall down like this out of overbought area, this was like that first top in the last bull market. And I think, I think a lot of people see just a, a simple data point like this, and they're like, man, the momentum's fading. It put in this higher high, and now we're just, we're falling in momentum on Bitcoin. It's over, bull market over. But there's a couple of things I want to point out. Number one, notice what just happened, the Bitcoin having, that is to say, the beginning of this new cycle for crypto bull market, right? Last time this was happening all the way over here past the 2020 Bitcoin having. But what I want to do is I want to go back here. Because there, are, there have been a, a, an increasing amount of similarities to the 2017 kind of charts, 2016 and 2017 charts. And what I want to point out to you is this. When Bitcoin went through the Bitcoin halving in 2016 right there, you can see it consolidated around the 20 and it broke through those bull market doors. Now, the bull market doors, in case you're unaware, is the bull market high to bear market low. And it's just a Fibonacci, that green area, lower high Fibonacci resistance area. But once, once it's broken... Some crazy things usually happen for crypto historically. So what Bitcoin did though was it retraced to the bull market doors in the 20 week moving average. But I also want to point out what happened on the RSI here. Look, check out the RSI. RSI fell pretty hard at that moment to around 53. It was overbought, right? Even actually had some bearish divergence. Check out this lower high on the RSI while Bitcoin's putting in a higher high, right? some bearish divergence and Bitcoin fell pretty drastically was at the end of the bull cycle. All while it was testing this top over here. It's like a double top, right? It looks terrible. End of bull market. No, it was consolidating to the 20 week moving average to the bull market door area. And then it continued into the bull market. And you can see the RSI had another leg up. There could be such a strong case that the same thing is happening right now in Bitcoin. You can see Bitcoin not even as low if we zoom out not even as low as it was on the RSI back here in 2017, but getting there. But all the while, what's it doing? It's retracing to that 20-week moving average in green that you see here. There's the bull market doors this cycle. It's retracing to that area. And let's, let's pivot to the daily chart. And we're actually going to look at the 2017 charts in that move on the daily and compare it to what's going on now. It gives us a really nice sense of what kind of downside there could still be in store. This might not be the, the shorter term bottom right now. I know we want this to be it. We want Bitcoin to just now make its way to higher highs, higher, higher lows to all time highs. There could be a little bit of downside. I want to discuss that, but check out what's going on. There's our bull market door area in yellow that you see that macro area. There's the 200 day moving average down here around $50,000. And we do have a technical target out of the symmetrical triangle in the lower 50s, right? 52, 53,000. All of those things are just normal for Bitcoin right now. Uh, we would like to see the bounce to the upside. Now, if we go back and look at this chart back in 2017 and the move, check out Bitcoin on the RSI. I want to point this out. RSI right here bottomed out. But notice Bitcoin actually needed to put in one more swing low while putting in a higher low. So some bullish divergence here on Bitcoin in that move just above the 200-day moving average. I bring that up because there's a case, especially because we have this target still to the downside out of the symmetrical triangle. There's a case, Bitcoin, maybe it fakes us out a little bit to the upside, but boom, one more leg down. There's a case for it. 
right, to maybe get closer to that target, maybe allow the 200-day moving average to pull into Bitcoin just a little bit more, and maybe, and I don't know how it would play out, maybe, depending on what Bitcoin does in the next really probably a couple days or so, maybe some bullish divergence, right? Bitcoin probably needs to make a little bit more room to the upside before and then get that big move to the downside, maybe putting in a higher low on the RSI. But there's room there, right? There's room for continued consolidation right now. So I think the point, what I'm trying to say is, for me, I'm not getting faked out right now, right? I'm waiting for certain things to happen before getting that bullish confirmation. And a really big thing is very simple for me. This 20-day moving average and the 50-day moving average I want to see Bitcoin at the very least tested again. I don't know. It could be today in a huge, massive green candle. It could be in a few days, whenever. What happens at the 20 and the 50? Because we, we can see a, a, an environment where Bitcoin just seeing lower highs at that area and faking us out before going lower, right? It could really be a game of patience at this point. But I digress from that and I say, you know what? Bitcoin having just happened. I think this is a healthy consolidation. Look at this. This is weeks of consolidation. And I think Bitcoin is just preparing for the next leg up. So that's Bitcoin. That's what I'm watching on the short term. The target's just, by the way, to the upside, if Bitcoin's going to test that moving average, a 20-day moving average around 63, I'm not getting excited until it's breaking that area. And then the 50-day moving average around 66. So we have a little bit of a ways to go for Bitcoin, around 10% of a move for Bitcoin before things really get interesting. Going over to Cardano, Real quick, before we dive into Cardano charts, I saw just this paragraph on this article. I think this was the other day. Addresses containing between 100,000 and 100 million ADA have been steadily increasing their holdings since the beginning of April. This accumulation by whales could be a positive sign for Cardano's future price, indicating their confidence in the project's long-term potential. I think it also just says to me, you know what? And this is a monthly zoomed out. When I sat down to do this video, I had this on, no indicators, no drawings, no nothing, just zoomed out in the monthly. And I'm like, wow. At this point of the cycle, let me bring it. Let me bring in the drawings now, because I say this point of the cycle, the Bitcoin having just happened, compared to this point of the cycle, right? Last Bitcoin having. Just look at at Cardano from a macro perspective. The cycles of Cardano. I think Cardano is just getting ready to flip into its bullish season, and it would make sense based on the the whale data. If whales are accumulating, they're getting ready. They're probably seeing this as well. And, and, and Cardano truly has not done anything out of the ordinary, although there's a ton of negativity about it right now out there in crypto land. Cardano is, is exactly on pace, if not a little bit better than last cycle. Last cycle at this time down around 94%. This cycle right now at this moment down around 85% or so. Let's dig into the chart zone and talk about ADA. So the first thing I want to talk about is weekly, and then we'll dive into daily and just talk about the shorter term price movement of Cardano. On the weekly, the biggest thing is this. The Bitcoin having last cycle right here, Cardano was, you know, made this really nice move to the upside and then it consolidated between the 20 and the 50. I think this is a really definitive moment for Cardano exiting really the bear market, right? All this bear structure down here, really definitive moment, what happened here between the 20 and the 50 moving averages. And earlier, it's happening earlier this time because this move to the upside and now retracing to between the 20 and the 50, this time around exiting the bear market, bottom formation. It's happening earlier this cycle, but I think this move is, is going to be this cycle's definitive moment. That's not to say that, that this 50-day won't fail. I'm going to talk about that on the daily, but check this out. This is really what we want to see is Cardano bottoming out, forming some type of solid structure between the 50 and the, and the 20. And right now, and I don't know how this week will, this weekly candle will close. There's still three days. It's, as I do this video right now, it's looking good, but this could change for the worse very quickly. You know how crypto is. But check out this weekly candle right at the 50-week moving average, right around 42 cents at bounce. And you can even see it tested this a, a few weeks ago, these like one, two, three weekly candles ago, same area at the 50-week moving average. If, if ADA can bottom out between these two moving averages in a similar fashion to last cycle, and notice, notice, this is the Bitcoin having. This was months later this happening. So notice that it's way earlier this time. And we're not as low, right, in terms of where we were at the having last cycle at this time. This would be very, this would be very bullish for, for ADA. And this is a range I've, I've really been watching 
And if we go to the daily chart, this is where that question could, would be answered, right? And this is where it could fail. And we have to be, I, I have to be very realistic with this data, especially because a couple of things happened, right? 20 day moving average crossing below the blue line, the 50 and the 200, the, the red line. And we broke out of this structure, this rising wedge. And the target to the downside is unfortunately around 30 cents. It's a lower 30s for ADA. So if you go back to that weekly, there goes our 50-week moving average. That's not me saying, man, ADA will fail at that point. It's over. But that's just me saying we won't get that similar, consistent, bullish move that we got last cycle. And when I track these cycles, one thing I really enjoy about the Bitcoin charts, it has been so consistent in doing so many similar things. So when I'm looking at ADA with less data, I would like to see a consistency, right? So I would really enjoy seeing ADA bounce here, break above the, two, the 20, and really just kind of take off. Even if it makes us wait a little bit longer, just it would be great, a bottoming out formation in this area. But if we hit that daily target down here, guess what? That 50-week that 50, 50 moving average will fall. And then we just have to talk about what happens now at the apex of that, that descending triangle. This would be a throwback to the triangle. And maybe that's the move we have to endure through uh, as crypto does its thing, consolidates, because I am quite sure if aid is falling to those levels, crypto in general will also be crashing as well. So here's where we are on the daily, though. Can ADA pull off just the unthinkable? And that is to say, couldn't bottom out. One thing I like about the daily chart, I think I posted this on X the other day. One thing I really like about the ADA chart right now, and this, this, isn't, this is one piece of data, is if you look at the RSI, slower moving momentum, momentum oscillator here on the daily, check out this higher low on the RSI. And you can just see ADA kind of just, you know, putting in a double bottom at that moment, right? So there's, there could be a true momentum swing happening right now with ADA, and then we do, we take, we take that data about what, what whales are doing right now. And we take the data about what's actually fundamentally happening despite all the misinformation out there about Cardano. Cardano is in a very prime position to do something spectacular from a price perspective. So this is something I'll be watching. Now, what, what can we see? If we continue to get this higher high, higher low movement on the RSI, we'd be watching the 20 day moving average, not only the shift to the upside, but ADA just breaking all these moving averages now because they are getting quite close to each other. The 50-day moving average is right around 56 cents. The 200 is right around 52 cents. And the 20 is right around 47 cents, just above where ADA is right now. So that range, 47 to around 55, is a big key range for ADA right now. Can ADA break above those areas and get this pullback to this lower trend line where ADA fell out of the downside? We get this fake break out to the downside, we pull back into that, that rising wedge, and then ADA begins its journey to a dollar plus. This could be the bullish case for ADA right there on the screen. We have to watch crypto markets. I, I really don't know what's going to happen. This is why I have the technicals, the charts. I like anticipating more, you know, downside scenarios. We have it. I like anticipating upside scenarios. I have it. And I sit here and I say, am I ready for both? And then I can walk away from doing this video and say, you know what? I am ready for both. And I can go do other things and not be obsessed with checking the charts. So that's why I do technical analysis. So these are my thoughts on Bitcoin, on, on Cardano. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm being very cautious right now, waiting for things to truly bottom out. But there is, there's some hopium out there on those charts if you look closely. Please hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.